three, two, one. Ooh, ooh. And another video which we have is called Resistance. Yeah, we are going to talk about resistance. Yes, I am a specialist in it. Me too. I also resist a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think especially men, we are so set in our ways that we think things have to be a certain way. And you explained it the other day so nicely that we're so afraid to give up our ego or give up who we think we are. And therefore, we, re we resist so much I'm every, really every my time hair. there oh. comes something new. And we have experienced it a lot. You ask me, do you want to do you want to taste this? You know, I can buy this for you and I'm really resistant. And no, I don't like this. And I, this is not my thing. You take it home and mm, I would have something good to eat, right? Yes. And how is it? <laughs> it's it's good. Mm. I like and it. next time in the store when I go to buy it myself, you're like, <laughs> ah, who who showed you? Who showed you? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not only about food. It's not only about food. The resistance is like, for example, blocking the flow of your abundance, blocking your flow of a good relationships or a great relationship to come, uh, blocking the flow of your health. You try so much to hold on to yeah, some yeah. idea or s uh, way, way things have to be. Yeah, exactly. Until you just can't anymore and you let go and you drop all the resistance. And in that moment, you actually allow the flow. We are supposed to move uh, to our new home. And uh, because we are people who are from different countries and... We have no idea where to go. We had a little plan already, but it didn't work out. And in uh, one week, we are supposed to move out from our current apartment where we were pro prolonging for two more weeks because we were supposed to be out already a week ago. And we don't have anywhere to go. We just don't have a home. And it's so many emotions about it because you don't feel secure. You don't know where to go. We have a dog which needs to have a ground floor. We don't need we we there is millions of apartments, but for some reason doesn't work out the possibility for us right now in this moment to go to our place because I think that maybe we need something to to get something to click. And my father offered us that we can stay at his place, which is uh, undergoing re reconstruction and it's very unpleasant to be there but it's a place where the dog could be in heaven it will be summer it's in the mountains and my father is very disciplined and very hard hard-working person and Raphael said we are not going there um, there's no way we go there and I'm like Leah is great I don't also feel good about it and we were searching and searching all the time that we have to just really uh, find our our place, which is going to be the best place for us and so on. And we didn't find anything. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, hey, is there something what you resist and what you could maybe learn from that experience to be at my father's, you know, in his home? Mm -hmm. And you, you realize that too, right? Yeah. Yeah, when you, when I start to slowly open up for this possibility that I could also have some benefits from it, something which I would maybe crave in my life and I would not get it any other way. I don't know if we will go there, but since he's very disciplined and, you know, hardworking man, I would like to inspire a little bit and uh, also maybe take a piece of that. So I could definitely take uh, my advantage to it instead of if we would go there, making it only about what a what a horrible experience it is going to be. Mm. Um, because, yeah, because you were saying that you just have to still learn from somebody, some role model and so on. And 
then you go and because you resist you you just resist to learn from this person and this person but you pay so much money to on internet to a person which you who you never saw and you just pay so much money for some course and stuff like that mm -hmm. right and then you have it on your finger like you have it everywhere you know people around you so if you or i or rafael we stop resisting then we will see possibilities around us you know we don't have to go to tony robbins courses because it's the it's so so expensive for the for the amount of information which you get there i don't say anything wrong about it in some time and some place it's good but you know there is some normal people who live like like average people who who do amazing things and we don't even see it because we resist so i recommend to not resist because after he told me that i felt really like um i felt so relieved as his as his girlfriend as his partner that he is just not going to be resisting therefore i'm not going to be nervous and if you think about if universe can relax finally because you stop resisting mm -hmm. or your body can relax finally when you stop resisting this way we just can just have it much healthier and f and more loving to us because what do you resist persists yeah so yeah. whatever we're trying to resist we will still have that in our lives so I'll hold we it finally forward. relax yep it's heavy. Hold it. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if we finally relax, actually the the flow can happen from the universe, you know? What do you try to create? What do you want to manifest? What do you want to experience? It will actually move much better mm -hmm. if you just let go. From our experience if you can really try it on your body on yourself that when you are with somebody next to somebody and that person resist resists and you just have to you know somebody resists to see somebody in, in at the party you go to the party and you have to do everything around that person so they don't meet and they don't eat next to each other they don't go for a drink next to each other they don't go to the toilet it's so many things which you have to think about and it's so much energy and if you just let go and say oh whatever so they meet and they they say hello to each other then you can stop being nervous and everything relaxes the energy flows super cool so i think uh -huh. it's it's a I can I think everybody could experience that right like uh, on the party and not not wanting to see anybody <laughs> that I wouldn't want to see anybody no or I think everybody friend. can relate to this I think so yeah 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 hmm. yeah mm -hmm. you can feel like you can uh, tense up your body and, and like really try to consciously resist and then you let go and it's, it, it feels so relieving. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I hope you will feel much better. And if you're resisting to something, try to find it, try to name it, put a, put a name on it. And then maybe try to think about why you could let it go and relax into it, even though it's a little uncomfortable because maybe not you but your partner or your friends or your parents or whatever could feel the difference and feel such a relief that they don't have to be stressed around you mm -hmm. mm. so see you yeah see you <laughs>